So if you are a specialist in something, the if you become a senior, then the payment increases rapidly. What do you think? Uh, um, yes, increase. But the point is, if a candidate has portfolio with personal game engine or commercial game engine, what's your preference? In my case, of course, preference would be. Is there anything you can encourage them? Yes, hard work pays off. Hard work pays off 100%. So you have to know how hardware works. Portfolio with personal game engine or commercial game engine. What's your preference? Yeah, in my in in, the, in my case, of course, preference will be the first because we work with graphics. Yeah, in my opinion, graphics engineering in the game industry is the most complicated. Let's say we work with Unreal Engine. Okay? So in Unreal Engine, you have a game thread, right, where the objects the game objects uh, are located. Then you have a render thread that have the uh, render representation of those objects that are visible. So the gameplay engineers work only with the, uh, within the game thread. And the graphics engineers, they work with the GPU, they work with the render thread, and we do work on the game thread as well. So we work with all of it. So plus, you must know the APIs, you must be much more aware of the GPU hardware, about the CPU hardware, and we work with console, so you have to know the console hardware and APIs as well. By the way, the one thing that I didn't mention before, you must be very good on math. So Geometry is a must. I mean, if you don't know geometry, if you don't know vectors, and you cannot figure out like how the points and vectors interact in 3D space, you, you cannot do the graphics. Many of them are just trying to be programmer because they think they pay well. But <laughs> you know, after talking with you, from so, um, yeah, it's not for all people. Yeah. So basically. Yeah, without without hard work, it's completely useless. And even if you don't have much talent, if you're literally eager, very eager, and you want to achieve that, and you uh, try to do your best, mm. you will achieve like very close uh, level of understanding. When I was working at Instagram, oh. I implemented an image filter on shader. I did it just because I liked it. I did overnight work, but manager didn't like it because I didn't keep my work-life balance, but it seems like game industry is different. They like overnight work. Okay, it's very, very, very like company to company and even country to country. In my previous experience, let's say in Korea, yes, so overtime was sometimes necessary. Yeah, I uh, stayed late several times, uh, sometimes like pretty late, but it always, always was my decision. Uh, because I felt that like, okay, we have a problem and uh, it must be fixed like today. So if you are a specialist in something, the, if you become a senior, then the payment increases rapidly. What do you think? Um, yes, increase. But the point is, it's not always linked with a title senior. So the discrepancy in the junior salary is uh, smaller because all juniors, they have approximately the same level. But when you get to the senior level, the discrepancy is a lot higher. So in some companies, you get to the senior level when you just have five years of experience. But five years of experience, you might be just sitting doing nothing somehow. Like So it's uh, the years of experience is completely inadequate. Or so you can be senior with five, seven years of experience, but extremely talented with a lot of knowledge. And then you may have like significantly higher compensation expectations than uh, other seniors. So hard work pays off. Hard work pays off 100%. It just, you have to continue it all the time. So you, you, you cannot stop. You start learning and you push and push and push the limits all the time. And yes. Yeah, it sounds great. Hard work pays off. Actually, it's very similar uh, to the software engineering as well. So you, when you learn and when you work hard, you actually learn your mind to work in very specific way and solve the problems really fast. And it actually pays off uh, too. Every single uh, piece of knowledge that gets into your mind helps you understand better the problem. Yeah, so statistics gives you tools that give, like, you have many numbers, but you must extract the meaning 
out of these numbers. If you do not understand statistics, those numbers will be just a bunch of numbers, mm -hmm. and uh, it will be hard for you to get a meaningful output out of those numbers. And you must apply the statistics to get actual distribution so you can know which case is probable, what is not probable, which is the uh, corner case that ha like happen rarely and what is just random fluctuations that like happens because mm -hmm. of like external reason. Yeah, so <laughs> that's a statistics, yeah. Yeah, so it's not necessary to know that, but if you do know that, you have more understanding. And same comes from the hard for the hardware. GPU cannot work on the entity smaller than two by two pixels, mm. which means that if you draw that triangle that is exactly one pixel size, GPU still calculates four pixel shaders. Mm -hmm. Only one will be visible, but it produces the all calculations for four of them, which means that if you have uh, the model with very, very, very small triangles, you have enormous amount of computing power wasted for the pixels that has to be calculated but never used or visible. It's like absolutely must to know if you want to achieve good performance. Yeah. So you have to know how hardware works. Do you have any last messages for my audiences and you know, candidate you hired for your team? Well, first of all, I would say that don't be discouraged uh, by the complexities. It's actually very fun. So learning is fun and uh, it's really fun to solve uh, different things and finding new ways to do something. It's not as bad as it might seem. Uh, trust me, even I time of the time feels overwhelmed when I start working on something new and I looked around and I literally have no idea where to start uh but then you just start to uh make like small steps you start from something small and at some point you, you're done so uh yeah if you start working you will be able to finish the role and yeah learn learn and then learn more okay thank you very much yeah sure we should do it again someday <laughs> thank you